Hi guys! <laughs> hi! You saying hi? Hi! Hi, welcome to Together Adventure. I'm Nina, this is Benji. And today I thought I'd put a quick video together about activities that we can do in the house to keep your one-year-old entertained. Benji is just gone 13 months now, so this a lot of the activities will be good from pretty much six months to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we'll get going. Our first activity today is playing with pots and pans. I think we can all agree that toddlers love playing with anything that isn't a toy and this is a great way to satisfy their curiosity. You can help them stack the pots, match up the correct lids and make lots of interesting and loud noises. Reading is one of Benji's favourite things to do. He could spend his whole day reading. Books with flaps, pulleys, buttons and different textures are going to be the most interesting at this stage. Starting a love for reading at a young age is one of the best things you can honestly do for your child's development. <laughs> Next page. Busy bear, busy bear, lots to see. Busy bear, busy bear. One, two, three. For a simple sensory activity, turn a balloon into a shaker by filling it with anything small. I used rice as that's what I had. Blowing it up and giving it to your child to play with. It makes a wonderful noise and behaves differently to a regular balloon. A clear balloon would be great for this so they can see through it, but honestly, any balloon will do. Water play is another great sensory activity. If the weather was better, I'd have him out in a paddling pool in the garden, but since it's still winter, I've just simply put him in the bath with his favourite toys. That he can experiment with filling and emptying and splashing around in the water. Sometimes I'll put the water running for him as well, just to change it up a little bit. The next two activities are going to be messy. Here, we've made some homemade slime with corn flour and water. It mixes into such a fascinating texture which is sort of a solid but also sort of a liquid. You can always add some food colouring to make it more interesting. It's also quite safe at this age as it won't harm them if they manage to eat a little of it. For another safe and homemade messy play activity, here I've cooked some pasta and a little bit of food colouring to make it pop and given Benji some empty containers so he can practice emptying and filling. Again, it will be safe for him to eat because it is just regular, I think it's spaghetti I used here or maybe some, some different type of noodles, but, but yeah, simple. Bring the soft play home to you. I'm not particularly precious about our cushions, so sometimes I let Benji take the sofas apart to climb, run, jump, um, always obviously stay close by so you can watch for any possible accidents, but this is so great for their physical development also, so I think, you know what, just let them get on with it, even if he bumps his head, it's just going to be a little bump, isn't it? So I hope that was really useful. Um, let us know in the comments below if you've got any more ideas and share some more tips with, with myself and with others. Um, thank you so much for watching and bye bye, we'll see you soon. Hey Benji, Benji.